this is another question the students sent to me. So let's try to solve these integration questions. So when I see the fraction like this, first I will check the x power. So the numerator power actually is smaller than the denominator power. Then this one is a proper fraction. So I will just need to do the partial fraction for it. So when before I start to do the partial fraction, I, I kind of need to see this one is x minus one square. So later when I want to separate them, I kind of have two different terms here. And then this one x plus 2 is just one term. So what do I mean by that is before I integrate, right, I would just break this uh, fraction into the three different fractions. So this is what I would do. So I say 2x over x minus 1 square and then x plus 2. Okay, right now I'm doing a partial fraction. So I will get about a over x minus 1. All right, this is x minus 1 power 1 plus b over x minus 1 square. All right, you might ask, what if this is power 3? Then I kind of have three terms, and then one more is x minus 1, 3, power of 3. All right, but here it's just square, so it should be quite easy, plus c over x plus 2. All right, you can see over here I have three different terms. So what I want to do is, right now I want to find what is my value of a, b, c here. So the easiest way is, I normally I will just multiply the whole thing by the denominator here, x minus 1 square, x plus 2. Okay, you just imagine if I multiply the whole thing uh, into the the first term here, I basically left about 2x, isn't it? So if I multiply this one for this term, you x minus 1 and x minus 1, I can sort of cancel out, still have a x minus 1 and x plus 2. So a multiply x minus 1, x plus 2. So we do the same thing for this term. So x minus 1 square and x minus 1 square cancel out, then I get b, x plus 2. All right, then x plus 2 and x plus 2, I cancel out. I will left about c, x minus 1 squared, then it? All right, and then I will need to uh, insert some value into the x to find out the abc. So the easiest way is we try to make uh, some term here become 0. So I know if I sub x equals to 1 here, I will get 0 here. So I will let x equals to 1. So when x equals to 1, sub into here, I will get 2. So this one is 0. This one is 0, then this one is 1 plus 2, which is 3, 3b. Then I got my b value is 2 over 3. Alright, then I will sub um, negative 2, because if I sub an x equals to negative 2 here, both terms will get 0, is that it? So x equals to negative 2. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4. Here becomes 0, here becomes 0. Negative 2 will be negative 3, square will be 9c. Okay, so c is negative 4 over 9. Alright, then this one, uh, you can insert any number you want. Normally, I prefer 0. Alright, so 0 sub into 2x, I get 0. 0 sub into here, I will get about negative 2a. And 0 sub into here, I will get a plus 2b. And I have my b in the 2 over 3. And 0 sub into here, I just have a 1c. Okay, negative 1 square is 1. So 1c is basically c. Negative 4 over all right, then what I want to do is I need to solve it to find an a, that's all. So this one is 4 over 3 minus 4 over 9. So this one you time 3, time 3, this is 12, right? So it should be 8 over 9. So a is basically uh, simplified, I will get 4 over 9. All right, after I got the a, b, and c, what I want to do is I just uh, sub into that. So I know that this fraction Actually, I can change into this three term, and I have my all a, b, c. So this is what I will do. If I sub the a, this is 4 over 9, right? This is how I will write. So I will just want to integrate 4 over 9 bracket 1 over x minus 1. Because this one is basically will give me the ln x minus 1. So I prefer to write like this. Okay, or you want to sub the 4 and 9 at the bottom can also if you want to do that. Okay, then the next term is plus b. b is 2 over 3, right? So plus um, 2 over 3 uh, bracket 1 over x minus 1 square. Close the bracket. All right. And then I will plus c. What is my c? c is minus 4 over 9, so I prefer to write a minus 4 over 9. I will just say 4 over 9 bracket 1 over x plus 2. Okay, so the way of writing uh, 
it is very important in integration it can save you some time because sometimes some students are easy to get uh, confused and then I write a DX at the back so right now this is after I simplify it, then I will just do the integration for this term so you know the constant you can take it out so this one actually give me 4 over 9 ln x minus 1 okay then I will just differentiate x minus 1 I will get 1 divided by 1 so it's just fine if this is 2x minus 1 then I need to divide a 2 here all right this one is basically is what this one is basically integrate x minus 1 negative 2 right the integration law is power plus 1 in the net so it's x minus 1 power negative 1 divided by negative 1 differentiate inside I will get 1 at the bottom so this one is basically called what negative 1 over x minus 1 okay this is just a very basic uh, integration so therefore what I want to do is I will bring this negative in front so it's negative 2 over 3 and then I still have something like this so I prefer make the fraction longer x minus 1 like this okay so it basically just multiply this one with 2 over 3 okay this one is minus 4 over 9 this is power 1 isn't it whenever your denominator is power 1 is a ln so this one is ln modulus x plus 2 all right plus c okay this one is 1x so divided by 1 so this one is my final answer but if you want to make it nicer because both also have some 4 over 9 you can kind of group them together um 4 over 9 let me see okay over 9 and then i put a bracket and then i have ln x minus 1 uh, minus ln x plus 2 and then close the bracket and then minus 2 over 3 x minus 1 all right if you want to make it look nicer a little bit or else i think this step should be uh, good enough for you as your final answer all right so i hope this video helped you first i hope it's helped you to understand how to do the partial fraction because i find this method is a lot easier and then normally i can do very fast by substitute the correct number into the x and then after that uh you just kind of need to know how to integrate so uh, this basic term here all right so i ho hope you find this video helpful to you i'll see you in the next video bye bye